Just a few days ago, Apple introduced iPad OS 13 to the world, and we installed the developer preview on one of our iPads, and it's immediately visible that it brings quite a number of changes. You can have your widgets here directly on your home screen so that you're organized throughout your day, you know what appointments are coming up, you know what is on it, your to-do list, and uh, it's overall designed to really make the iPad much more of a productivity device than it was before. A large part of that is the introduction of a desktop class browser that can really run regular web applications like Google Docs, for example, so that anybody with an iPad can much more easily collaborate and be productive in the enterprise context. Another thing for people that are looking to do very precise work like manipulating cells in Excel, for example, is the introduction of support for mice. Um, Apple is a little reluctant to admit that this might be useful for the iPad and is at this point kind of adding it as an accessibility device and the mouse pointer, you can see it over here, looks a little bit strange, but at ThinPint, we're extremely excited about these two additions to iPadOS because they allow us to uh, connect from an iPad to a Windows Virtual Desktop. Um, that's a project that we've been working on with Microsoft for a really long time now um, to integrate our EZIP solution to offer enterprise-grade print support for Windows Virtual Desktops and it's really impressive uh, how easily and how seamless the integration is into this and I would like to give you a quick preview of this. The connection to a Windows Virtual Desktop is as simple as it can be. It's simply a website that Microsoft hosts um, along with the Virtual Desktops. It's all running on the Azure platform. Uh, some of the primary Innovations in Windows Virtual Desktops include the support for the Edge browser as well as for Office Pro Plus. Um, it's really a fully fledged Windows 10 desktop with the efficiency of a terminal server for those of you that are more familiar with the subject. The print solution of choice for Windows Virtual Desktop is ThinPrint's EZIP solution and through the connection with the Easy Pub that connects a printer in a branch office, for example, or in an office um, in general, directly into the Windows Virtual Desktop environment. I can open a PDF document, for example, and simply hit the print button and have my printer available just as I would on a limit the number of pages here a little bit and then I can simply hit print and within a few seconds we'll see the page appear in our printer here. There's a lot of technology that went into eZip. Um, for those of you who know ThinPrint, um, we used a lot of what we learned there over the last 20 years um, to make sure that these desktops really have enterprise grade printing without having to worry about drivers, printer assignments and such just through the simplicity of a cloud printing service. And we have just as simple as that. We have a high quality page that just fell out of this printer just as easy as it could possibly be.